I'm standing on the roof of BC Play Stadium and look how small that stadium looks compared to this one. Hi guys, welcome to Downey Live. I'm Michael Downey and today I am taking you up into the ceiling of BC Place Stadium. This is a view no one ever gets to see. Brian, Michael, Brian, Michael, of course Brian. he is. I recognize him <laughs> from YouTube. He's a star, <laughs> man. Bob, thank you. So when you're doubling up on the safety vest That's here right. as we go up to the catwalk. Yeah. So. Because this is Rob Robinson. He's our safety coordinator. And he's going to keep us safe throughout Hi, the day. Hi, Rob. Nice to meet you. Welcome to YouTube. When you, when you look at these columns here, this is the original column right here. This and this girth was added. The reason that that was added is we added about 18,000 tons of weight to the existing structure. We had to actually do this while the building was in operation. That in itself was a bit of a challenge. Wow. Yeah. So you can you can really see the difference in these pillars right yes. here. Type just your, your view Nothing of the stadium. Nothing to see here. here. Everything working perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the booth where we run all of our events from. We will have our dispatchers. We will have city police up here. We'll have our security. So basically, this is the hub. This wow. is the heart of the system. Anything that happens in the building, all those calls flow through here. Roof operations. Ah. So this is this is roof control. So whether we're opening or closing the roof itself, there's a number of steps that have to we have to go through. There's a number of people uh, in the building who have access through even through our cell phones. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping it would be just a giant lever, you know, open <laughs> or close. <laughs> yeah, or a crank, exactly. So if you're not a fan of heights, probably a good time to switch That's this right. video That's off. Right. <laughs> so we're at the top of level four, which is our highest seating area right now. Yeah. So now we're gonna go up the stairwell to the catwalk. Because we have an event on today and we're heating the bowl, <laughs> Heat rises, so the higher we go, the warmer it's gonna get. Brian's giving the warning. Don't judge us if we're sweating on camera. So just, just a couple things while we're here. So the building's not a circle, it's not an oval. It's its own unique shape. So how do we do that? It's with these pretension cables. So okay. if you look at these members that come out, as yep. you go around the building, every single one of them is a different size. So the columns on the outside of the building, yep. they each weigh in around 150 tons a piece. So you can imagine if the top of the column wants to go out, the bottom wants to kick in. Right. So this is what uh, stops that from happening. The columns on the outside of the building are on a set of slide bearings. They're designed to move, and that's for dynamic load, for snow load, wind load, those sorts of things. So from this fascia down yeah. is one structure. From the fascia up is another structure. So the roof is designed to move uh, differently than the rest of the building. Wow! What, what you see here is these squares are what we call our ETFE. Every single section has an addressable LED light. So we can change the color of the building. We've had the Union Jack there when Paul McCartney was here. We've had the Canada flag there when the Canadian national teams are playing in here. So we can do those types of things just simply by changing the process in the computer. And then the last thing is right here, these are actually louvers. If the building gets too warm, we can open up these louvers and let some natural air flow, oh, wow. flow through. You feel the temperature? Oh yeah, I feel the heat. We're right at the top here. I could, I could almost touch the fabric. So now we're gonna go up the, up the ramp to the catwalk. Now what I'll say is the, the catwalk itself is dynamic. So it's gonna feel like it's moving under your feet. Yes, yeah. because it is. Okay. It's kind of like a suspension bridge. As you can see, there's nothing underneath it. So it is going to flex a little bit, but it's very safe. We're 200 feet above the field of play right now. That's the largest center hung scoreboard in North America. It's not the largest scoreboard, it's the largest center hung. Texas has the largest Texas scoreboard? Texas has the largest. That board in itself is about 80 tons. So if you're looking up at the roof itself, you see two different colors of fabric. Okay, so the center portion yep. is the retractable portion. Okay. okay. So it's made out of a fabric called Tanara. So if you took a piece of Tanara, yeah. like a piece of paper, and you crumbled it, yeah. it would look like a crumbled piece of paper. But if you leave it on the desk and you come back an hour later, it'll be flat. And that's what we needed for this fabric. When we go through the process of opening the roof, that large cylinder will drop. The fabric will pull together like so. The cylinder will pull up and hide the fabric. 
I can take you outside under the ring beam. We'll be at that height, That'd be but great. outside. Yeah. Don't look down. I'm here. We made it back safely. Yeah. If you ever come to BC Play Stadium, you'll likely be sitting in these plastic seats, watching a game or an event of some sort. But today, I get to take you up this steep staircase and out onto the roof. Up the steep ladder. And we're out. Oh wow. So this, this walkway will go all the way around the building. It's about 1,800 tons of steel that made the uh, made up the web. How big these joints are. Exactly. We had materials coming from well in excess of 30 different countries. So trying to coordinate that. Some of these steel components came from as far away as Thailand and were shipped over here and then picked up on barges. And they were so large that we had to uh, shut down city streets to transport them to the building overnight. I don't know what else to say, but look at this. Look at the huge steel beams out here. The amount of work and effort that went into that was incredible. So it's not only an engineering success, it's a logistical success. It's, it definitely is. Yeah. We're something we're proud of, but it's it, it takes a lot of people. It's not just me. I got, no. I got a huge team of people behind me. That's a view I'll never see again. Thank you so much, Brian. That was a fantastic tour. Excellent. I really appreciate all the restricted access you guys gave me. Oh, my pleasure. It was a lot of fun, and you have a pretty fantastic job. Thank you. Well, Brian has to get back to work, so that's it for me. But he did an amazing job of taking me all over this building. I'm so happy I was able to show you outside on the roof as well as inside on the ceiling. And I don't know where we're going next, but I want you there with me. See you next time, guys. Okay, yeah. Brunch you gotta watch Great. this guy on YouTube. He's like a he's awesome. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm actually telling you he's awesome. I'm gonna send you his link. Incredible.